In this video, we are going to take a look at how we can create not just amazing but SEO friendly breadcrumbs for our WordPress website. So let's dive in. So we are going to use the plus add-ons for block editor and here we have the breadcrumb bar block and using this we will be able to create breadcrumbs like this one or maybe this one or maybe like this one. There is no end for creativity. You can design whatever style of breadcrumb you wish. So let's quickly dive in in our WordPress backend and see how we can do this. So here we are in our WordPress backend and if you go in the plugin section, here we have the plus add-ons for blog editor free as well as the pro version. Now you can create the breadcrumbs using the free version itself. But if you want to build some mind blowing websites using the blog editor for WordPress, then it's highly recommended that you go with the pro version as well. But right now, just for the breadcrumbs, the free version will work absolutely fine. Along with the plus add-ons plugin, we are also using the Nexter theme and the Nexter extensions plugin. Now for the breadcrumbs, I'm sure you do not want to copy paste the breadcrumb block on every page or every blog post of your website. So the best way is to create some kind of template for our blog post and for our website pages and then put the breadcrumb block on that template so that it will be displayed automatically on all the pages of our WordPress website. And that's the point where Nexter theme with Nexter extensions can make this job really easy for you. So this is how our sample blog post page looks like. So we have our simple header and we have this feature image and we have the blog content below this. So we are not going to do much designing here. We are going to use the Nexter builder and then we go to templates. Here we have already created a header template for our header here. Now let's go ahead and create a new template and we are going to name this as blog post design. You can choose any name as you like. And let's start by adding a container first. We will choose this one. And in this we are going to add a feature image. So we have a post image block. So we will choose this one. And right after that we are going to add post content and here from the right hand side settings we are going to choose post content instead of excerpt and just above this we are going to add our post title so here we have the post title block and we are going to give it a little bit of styling to make it stand out so maybe we can just give some spacing here and now if you just quickly scroll down and here in the next builder settings we will choose layout as page and page type as singular and here in the condition rules we will choose all posts so we are not focusing much on the design right now let's go ahead and click on publish and see how it looks in the front end so this is how the design looks we have just fetched all the basic things to create our blog post layout let's come back here in our template and here right before our feature image we are going to add our breadcrumbs here now here comes the interesting part here on the breadcrumb bar page on the plusblocks.com website you'll find a lot of breadcrumb designs that you can simply copy from here and paste it on your WordPress website. So here if I want to copy this design, all I have to do is just click on this copy button here and then come back to our template editor and we'll place the cursor wherever we want to add this breadcrumb block and then we have a plus paste option right on the top. Let's click on this. And this is going to paste our breadcrumb block here. Now we need to do some basic styling here because there is a lot of gap. So first we go to advanced and remove this padding from here. So this is how it's going to look. And now we can visit the style tab here and do all the changes that we want. But let's go ahead and update this and see how it looks in the front end. So now let's refresh our blog post here. So here we can see our breadcrumb. We have our homepage. We have the category that is review. 
and we have the blog post title here. So now in the front end, it's looking absolutely fine. Using all these ready-made templates, you can create your breadcrumbs in no time. Now let's come back here in our template editor. Let's remove this block from here. And let me show you how you can do this from scratch. So we are going to add our breadcrumb block here. And by default, it creates a breadcrumb which looks like this. And once again, we have the style options on the right hand side. So first we can choose a simple style and then we have this modern design as well. So if I go with the simple one here, we can change the alignment wherever we want to choose. And after that, we have the home title icon. So we have the title as home instead of home. You can use any other title or label as well, or we can simply get rid of this completely and use this icon as the home link. After that, we have the separator icon. So here we can define this icon here. After that, we have the visibility. So we want the home, we want the parent or the category, and, and we also want the current page as well. So if you want, you can disable any item from here. After that, we have the letter limit. So we have the letter limit for parent and current. So we can limit the number of characters in this parent as well as the current page title. So let's say we have a very long blog post title. So it might not look very good in the breadcrumbs. So we can limit the number of characters from here. And after that, here comes the best part about this blog, which is the SEO option. If you click on this, it's going to add the breadcrumb schema on all the pages wherever we add this breadcrumb block. And once again, in the style tab, we can do styling for all the elements in this breadcrumb block. If we update this here and refresh our front end. So this is how the front end looks. If you copy the blog post URL and use the Google rich snippet test, here we can see we have two schema markups detected. One is the article because this is a blog post and another one is breadcrumb which means we have successfully added the beautifully looking breadcrumbs on our WordPress site, which is also SEO optimized. So this is how easy it is to add some amazing looking and SEO optimized breadcrumbs in our WordPress website. If you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and make sure you watch this video right here to learn how you can add some amazing looking animated SVGs in your WordPress website. And to watch more WordPress videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.